Hey everybody, this is Zori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your performance max campaigns on something that no one talks about, a strategy, a tactic that I actually use for myself and I wanted to share it with you guys. I want to share with you the concept you can do it yourself, whatever business or website you're actually promoting, you can use this tactic to understand your campaign better and choose the better optimized campaign better. So let's jump into it. So for example, we have a campaign after our optimization, we decided to choose the best one. And you can see that our campaign actually has a conversion rate of 23.58%, which is really, really good. We use this tactic and we actually uh, decided to use the final campaign that performed the best. So what I did for this video is I actually uh, duplicated this one and I actually created some changes to show you how a typical campaign runs and what you need to do. So I'm going to go right here. This is just for the video, of course, and I'm going to go to asset groups. So most of you are aware that when you create a campaign under performance max, you have to create at least one asset group, which is basically your ads, all of the ads and the targeting you have here. So most of you, in order to optimize, you go to your asset groups. Everybody talks about this online and obviously you need to do this is you edit your asset and you create your URL and all of your images you create as many images and videos and headlines and descriptions and all of these things you as many as possible and then you let Google decide show different ads with different variations for example this with this you know uh, this with that etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you hope Google will actually do the best and provide the best. Now, while that is extremely important, uh, this video is to show you kind of the secret thing or the thing that uh, no one talks about that you should be doing in order to understand your ads better. Okay, so obviously you need to do this as well. So I'm gonna go back right here and I'm gonna go back to my campaigns and I'm gonna go to this campaign. So in addition to the actual assets, which is very, very important, you actually have something called signals. This is the second thing that you need to optimize uh, that will help you understand uh, or, or help you target your audience the best for your ads and for what you're trying to sell your product or service. Now signals has a lot of different things. You have search themes, you have audience signals, you can do retargeting from your website. You can do a lot of different things. You can select keywords, you can select competitors, websites, all kinds of different things. Now typically most people that run performance max campaigns, they fill up as much information as possible with their targeted keywords. For example, if I'm promoting someone that has a Shopify store, I want to target my ads for them to come to my website based on Shopify. I would type in my search theme Shopify and then I would go to my audience signal and say and give it additional information. For example, I would get, connect my Google Analytics and say anyone that's visiting my website based on this criteria, I want you to target them. And also any competitor, for example, if they've actually visited Shopify.com and maybe keywords they've typed in Google, uh, Shopify or Shopify store or something like that. And all these addi additional information. So most of you actually go either create your own uh, new segments, for example, right here, for example, for competitors, I can put all the URLs of my competitors and you guys fill up as much information as possible. And then you let Google uh, find those customers or those visitors and then uh, hope that your ads are, are going well. OK, so I'm going to go back here for a second. And then what you can do, you can actually go ahead and then you can see your reports. For example, if I go back to my campaign right here to campaign. Once the ads run, I let Google do its thing for, you know, week, two, three, a month, mo multiple months. And then I can see my data. For example, my data says, okay, I have this amount of conversions, conversion rates, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one of the problems with actually selecting all of these signals is Google will bring all kinds of different customers based on your themes and your audience, et cetera. But you don't know which one is actually converting well. You don't know if the competitors are giving you all the leads or actually the search themes are giving you your leads or you're retargeting or remarketing from your website. You don't really know anything. So the trick to this video, the most important thing for this video is to actually separate the audience signals separately for uh, different campaigns. OK, so instead of you selecting all of these different things and Google will decide how much traffic goes to people who have visited this website or, or uh, people have searched for this keyword or people that have come from your website or people that uh, are interested in this theme, what you're going to do is you're going to choose only one signal for every single campaign and you're going to create multiple campaigns, let them all run together because performance max campaigns can actually run uh, together at the same time. They won't conflict, they'll kind of compete with each other, but they can run at the same time. And then once you get enough data based on multiple campaigns, 
then you can actually go ahead and choose which one works, just like the one we had you showed in the beginning, we showed in the beginning, uh, and say, okay, this is the one that performs the, the best, I want to keep this one, okay? So uh, you have two methods for doing this, okay? So method number one is you can click here on table, and you can actually see all the asset groups, and you can actually see all the data, for example, the conversions, you know, the clicks, etc. You can do that, you can actually add some more columns if you have some additional reporting you want. And the, the simplest method is you can actually click on plus, create a new one, and then you'll have, for example, one with just the remarketing, asset group two is just for competitors, asset three is just for the keywords, and you can let it run, and that works That works uh, well. But you don't control how Google decides the traffic, how much traffic they give for asset group one, how much for asset two, three, four. So what I suggest is while you can do multiple asset groups, I suggest for you to actually uh, duplicate them with campaigns. Okay, and so with campaigns, you can set a specific budget and a targeting for that. So what I would do here, I would go ahead here, click on Control C or Command C, depending if you're using Mac or not, and then you copy it. And then I would go here, click and click on. Let's do it one more time. Control C, close, and I would click on Paste, and then I would just paste them in. Okay, so let's pause this as well. And what I'm doing is I'm actually creating multiple campaigns. So I have this one, this one, this one. Now, one more thing while it's copying, because it usually takes about a minute or so, is when you do your targeting, make sure that you test as few things as possible because performance max, you don't have in, uh, that many things you can control. Make sure that you do one signal, one country, one location, things like that. So if I have a targeting in this campaign, for example, for multiple countries, I have Canada, UK, and US, I would actually duplicate this into one country and one signal. So for example, this one would be, let's close this, this one would be only US, and I would click on save, and then I would only have one specific targeting. So let's go into the asset group, or excuse me, one specific signal. Okay, so I would go here, and I would say, you know what, this is only the search theme, okay, and all of these I don't want to have. Okay, so search theme right there, save, and I would actually call it, let's go right here, okay? So now if I go to the campaign, I can go here. This is the first one. I'm going to call it Shopify US only search theme Shopify, okay? And then the next one, this one is going to be, let's go right here. Okay, so this one is going to be US. Right there, US. That's good. And I'm going to go to the ad group. Okay, and I'm going to click on signals. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to go to my targeting. And this one is going to be, for example, only for competitors. So I'm going to do it competitors or have visited certain sites. And I'm going to go here and going to close all of this right here, and I'm only going to have one right here, okay? Let's just say this is my audience. Okay, good. And then what you're going to do, you're going to duplicate it. So if I have three countries, UK, Canada, US, and I have diff uh, three or four, three different signals, I would have nine campaigns. Each one would have its own budget, $5 a month, $100 a month, whatever it might be. And then I can go and I can let it run for a week, two, three, five, ten, and then... I can actually see the report and figure out which one is working well and then remove all of the other ones and then let the, the successful ones run. So I hope that, make, uh, that makes sense for you guys. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. This is a tactic that works. This is something that works really well and it lets you understand better with a performance max campaigns because you don't have too many things you can do other than the assets and the signals. So what you can do is you can split them and then you'll have better results and you can decide what works better and you can put more budget on the ones that convert better. For example, what we have here, is you saw here we have 23.58% conversion rate. That's extremely good, really, really good. We want to put more money on it and we want to run. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Please like, subscribe, share, send to a friend. If you have a better performance max optimization or anything else with Google Ads, let us know. Check out our website, check out our YouTube channel uh, and comment and we're here to help you guys. Thank you guys.